Okay, so we're going to go in here and show you how to use Page Builder. Now, Page Builder, you can do a page all on its own. So create a page from scratch. You can create a module that can be inserted into a page, or we're going to use it from an existing article. So select the article and notice that we're in page builder. Now these are the different blocks. So here I have a monthly meeting or meetings. And this is the same as on a on a page. So you can just create it the same way. This is the the slideshow. And I'll show you what it looks like on the front end. So this is the this is the events. This is the the plant sale text. This is you can help text, and then this is that image gallery. So if we go back in here, if we like, go up on the top, and we can make that three rows. Now you can grab these. And move them. If I want another row, add new row, and I move this image gallery down here. Hit save. And we'll do a refresh. And now you have the, the three rows. It's a little messy, but you can play around with this. If you want to make it one row on the large row on the top, two in the middle, one on the bottom, it's all everything has to row has to add up to twelve. So we do twelve plus six plus six plus twelve. Hit generate. Now what we can do is move this up here, plant sale monthly meetings on the very top. Hit save. Go back here. There's the meetings. Plant sale, you can help. And, <coughs> and the image gallery. So on these, you can just play around with them. If you wanted to create another text box, in here, clone, you make another one, you can drag these around. And again, in here, just make your changes as you normally would, hit apply, and then save. So that's a quick overview of how to use Page Builder.